Hello, I'm Alan McCannon, and today we're going to talk about eye dominance and how to put an occluder or dot on your glasses if you need one. Uh, a couple of ways I know to check eye dominance is you put your two hands together and you make a very small hole right here, and you stare at something in the distance, and you just keep bringing your this small hole back, looking through this small hole, bring your hands back until it comes to whichever eye. That should be your dominant eye. Another way, if you hold your finger up with both eyes open and point, uh, put your end of your finger on something in the distance, close one eye. If your finger moves off of that, then that, your other eye is dominant. Or if it doesn't, if your finger doesn't move when you close, uh, that means that that eye is dominant. In other words, when I hold my finger up here and I look at something and I close my right eye, my finger moves way to the right. And when I close my left eye, what I'm holding my finger on, it does not move. But that being said, I still have a dominance issue. Uh, it shows up a lot of times on low one and low eight. Uh, there's things that can cause dominant issue, dominance issues. Your diet, or if you get fatigued, a lot of shooters, they'll be going along good and everything's great, and they're shooting with both eyes, and all of a sudden, they start what we call crossfire, and their other eye, their non-dominant eye starts taking over. And the reason is because their eyes are getting tired or they're fatigued. Some of the things that contribute to that is if you're one of these people that are on the computer a lot or sitting right there looking at a screen, that can cause some eye fatigue. So another problem with, with eyes and skeet is a lot of people tend to want to squint. Uh, you don't need to squint and that gets back or that gets to you want to wear as light a lenses as you can to get as much light in, but you do not want to squint. Now, for us older people, we have a tendency to have what they call, and I do, uh, droopy eyelids. So that causes some issues as well. But one trick that I've learned to help with the droopy eyelids is what I call big eyes. When I get everything ready, I'm at my whole point, I have the gun mounted, and I'm ready to call for the target. I do what I call big eyes. I open my eyes just as wide as I can possibly open them, and I hold them that way all the way through the shot. Now, that helps tremendously for me, especially low five and low six. Uh, the target's coming out. Usually those low house targets are in, a, in some background, and it takes a little bit for them to get into the break into the sky so that big eye really helps me to pick up those targets so uh, you know there's times i use it on every shot but it's really prevalent on for me low five and low six so remember don't squint wear as light a lenses as you can without squinting and make sure to keep your eyes open Okay, we're going to talk about an occluder or a dot. And what that is, is that's something to block your off eye. I have one on this lens right here. And what that does, it, what you want it to do, is you want it to block the end of the gun barrel so, for me, my left eye cannot take over. So, a little trick I learned on how to get this occluder or dot in the right place. Now, I like something black and dark. I do not like a frosted uh, occluder. A lot of people like one that's somewhat translucent. Uh, the translucent one for me, when I'm out in the bright sun, it just seemed to glow and really draw my eye to it. So, you know, I, I learned that I like the, the dark one. And, and that's what we're gonna work with today. But if you like a translucent one or feel like that'll work better for you, by all means, use it. Okay, what we need is just a few things. Most of this you'll have around or have access to. Uh, a pencil, something to punch a hole with, a straight edge, a pair of scissors, and a 
my sticky note pad. Now, what I'm going to do on this sticky note pad is I am going to make something the same size as my occluder. Now, I'm going to take a straight edge and I'm going to draw me off the lines here. And I know that this occluder is an inch and an eighth by three quarters. Now, you can get smaller. The problem with getting smaller on an occluder, if you get too small, you will tend to want to look around this occluder. Um, while I'm making this here, see, I'm going to draw a line from corner to corner on this. And what I'm doing is I'm finding the center of this. Now, I'm going to cut this out, but I've already got one cut out here. Uh, and I already have the hole in it. But you take where that X crosses and you punch your small hole in it. And now it's a sticky note and you stick it to the inside of your glasses like so. Now once you get it in relatively the right spot, you put your glasses on and you'll take your gun. This is a empty gun in a safe environment. No shells, no, no, no dangers here. You take this gun and you mount this gun. You get in your stance and you mount this gun like I showed you in the first video. You bring it and you get everything lined up. You line everything up with your right eye. Or if you're right-handed, left eye if you're left-handed. And then you close, for me it would be my right eye, and look and see where this, what you can see through this tiny hole. This tiny hole should be lined up and you should see the bead on the end of the gun. Now this one wasn't quite lined up so I'm going to move it just the slightest bit and I'm going to put my glasses back on again. I'm going to mount the gun and now everything is perfect. When I close my right eye and look through this tiny hole, everything is lined up. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can take a marker and you can put your black dot right there where that little hole is. Or, like I do, I have it on the inside. I'm going to take my occluder or my black tape and I'm going to line it up exactly with my little sticky note thing. And I have my occluder in place. I take my little tool off. I save it for the next pair of lenses. And I have a occluder installed in place. It's in the perfect position. And I'm ready to go out and shoot. I'm Alan McCannon. This video was sponsored by Pila. And good day.